the state committee woman, well, she is the liaison between the county and the state Republican parties. It is her place to report to the people what goes on at the state meetings. But I would like to make it a situation where I get to tell the state what the people at the county level are concerned about. But she also votes for the next Republican Party chairman for the state of Florida. She also gets to vote and determine who the next delegates are for the 2020 Republican Party National Convention. And very importantly, she has an opportunity to serve on different committees. Now, the platform committee is a very interesting one because if you believe in the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, if you believe in freedom of speech, traditional family, if you believe in the right to life, if you believe in God, if you believe that it's good to be able to get together freely uh, with your friends or your family to go wherever you want to without intrusion by government, if you believe in the right to bear arms, all of these are a part of the Republican Party platform. And she is one of the ones to defend these freedoms so that they are not stolen from our party platform. And I pledge that I will stand for them and I will fight if anybody wants to remove these wonderful parts to our party platform. Because, you know, it was Thomas Jefferson, he and, and the other founders, they debated back and forth so much. And there was an Irish attorney, John Philpo Coran. I'm not sure which of the ones originated it. They so often quoted one another because they believed deeply in debate and discussion. And so even historians sometimes lose track of who said what, but that really doesn't matter because the bottom line is eternal vigilance is the price of freedom. And you really need to know the character that it's a person of integrity who will do what they say and they mean what they say and they will stand for you and stand for our freedoms and our liberty and our platform. And I promise you, I will do that.